Okay, we're over here on the press. And I got the, uh, this is the uh, four jaw one. And it just barely just tucks in there a little teeny bit. And we're gonna sneak it underneath there. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Got nice and straight. We don't care where the hole is because we haven't drilled a hole in here. We might not have to, so it's just there in case we need it. Oh, we're going good. We're going good. I bet we don't need a hole. That's nice. And there. Doesn't that look pretty? If we can do this other one here the same way, huh? Put a little paper on the bottom there so it doesn't mar the bottom. nice I just all I did was wire wheel those up oh. all I did was wire wheel those up uh, after the tempering nice and black okay so uh, this is one of the two handles a piece of half inch 316 stainless they're 12 inches long I have two of them to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spot that and drill that one eighth inch and use an eighth inch roll pin and that will keep it uh, within the confines of the handle. It may jiggle around it, but I'm going to put rubber handles on here and that will keep it really pretty steady in there. But this way it won't fall out. So I've got it up against my stop over here. I've measured them. They're both uh, within, uh, this one's 12 inches, 15 thousandths, and the other one's 12 inches, 30 thousandths. So I'm at right in the middle of this one, and then I'm gonna, and we'll be in the middle of the other one. We'll just flop it in there, it'll be close enough. You won't be able to tell that. So we're gonna spot drill it. These round things, like I said before, spot drilling real, helps keep you you don't have to cut a flat or something And then I'm just gonna, I'll just hand debug those. Okay, so I got one of the truck handle bodies in. The This part on each handle is the same length. So I, over here at the stop, over here at the stop, I have it just touching the end of the tube. So I can just come over with the DRO because that, that corner is still zero uh, that back edge and I, I measured this so I came over to halfway on the tube and down six and a quarter inches and then when I pop the other one in we'll uh, be in the same spot 
and I just made this kind of flat looking. I didn't even put a level or anything on it. I just eyed it. Oh, this is a uh, Macedonia. This is from Macedonia. This is one that uh, James Kilroy sent me. Uh, very nice of him. Kind of long, but. I think if we can get down there. There we go. Look at that. Did you see that? It sucked that thing in there and it spit it right back out again. How cool was that? <laughs>
a little bit bigger hammer. So it's down there basically basically flush with the top of the pin. So you can move around a little bit. And if you want to take it out, just knock the pin through, pull the handle out, and you know, pin will come right out. So we go. We'll take we'll uh, get a couple pictures of them and I'm gonna call it call it done. We'll show a couple of still pictures of all the finished uh, products. Here you go. Here it is in use. Uh, get the camera right. Handheld. Clears the. Here's here by about three fingers. A little more. Three finger clearance. You can see that. Fits absolutely just perfect, like you'd want. Just perfect fit. Fits all of them just right. It'll be nice, uh, nice handles. Nice. Anyway, uh, came out great. I'm really happy with this uh, design, and uh, it's gonna work out good. So I decided to uh, put the pins in the end of the uh, um, wrenches, the chuck wrenches. So if you remember, I had center punched the end. You see that little little center punch right there? Right there. As a witness mark right there. In line with the one of the ridges of the square. And from the end up, the hole is 1.4 inches. Just in case I wanted to do this later. And this is hardened now. So I'm going to put it in there right there. To the stop this corner is zero zero uh, x and y against that jaw and that end so i'm going to put it in there now i've scribed a line where 1.4 was and i scribed a line this way where one point uh down the center line hopefully uh this is the approximation so i can get things lined up a little bit right So I'm going to put my pointer in. So I've zeroed my DR DRO and it's right on the line there. Um, and you probably can't tell, but it is right on it. But what I want is to be rotated right. So I need to go over. And I'm going to check where my rotation is on the ridge of that. Right there, the square. So my pointer is right on the ridge, right centered on it. Looks really good. And I'm against the end. But my parallel that's underneath is going to be in the way. So, yeah, I pushed it back. We'll do that again. There we go. Looks pretty good. There we go. Then we'll go back. Yeah. 1.4 inches. We got our table locked.
spot drill it. Looks good. I'm gonna drill three sixteenths hole and we got our fingers crossed. Are we gonna hit the hole? I bet you we do. There we go, right into the hole. And we're gonna drill on down, go out to the other side. That was sweet. Do a little uh, chamfer on this. That looks good. So I'm just gonna turn it over. See if we can chamfer that a uh, little bit on the other side. Just kind of eyeing it a little bit. That's good. I'm gonna swing around here and we'll. Looks pretty good. We'll just swing around and punch that pin in there. <laughs> Three sixteenths. Uh, Roll pin. Got everything in the way here today. Get it started. Get a different hand, a little lighter hammer. A little copper faced hammer, and there we go. Pins in, we'll clean it up. There we go. Pinned up, should be good to go. Okay. Now we're finished. So there's the uh, two finished up handles with the pins and I even had some uh, hose that fit kind of snug on there so well I had enough for the one handle but so that's them with the pin in there and everything this one's for the four jaw that one's for the three very happy with them uh, they came out super they're gonna work out really nice um, you kind of saw how they fit over there uh, on the chucks. So, yeah, nice, nice, nice build. Fun project. All right, thanks, you guys. Uh, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching.